readers um, often ask authors who their favourite character is in a book and it's, it's really hard to answer that because truthfully you love them all and you hate them all but they are there to serve a purpose, they're there to tell the story and if you start to favour one character over the other you, you, you find sometimes that you write them less well because we all know in a weird sort of way that often the baddies <laughs> are more fun to write than the goodies. Um, but I do actually, in this particular novel, my lead characters are Minu and Pete. And um, as the series goes on, The Burning Chambers is the first in a series of historical novels. Um, their children and their grandchildren and that sort of sense of these feuding families going back through the generations um, is very strong with me. So I love all of those. But there is a particular character in uh, The Burning Chambers um, who is an aunt of Minu. Her name is Salvadora Bousset, she's Madame Bousset, and she's a rich, uh, a rich Catholic woman living in Toulouse, and she is very orthodox, and she is very of her time. And when we first meet her, she's, she's silly. She's a silly woman, a trivial woman, and she only wants to talk about ruffs and laces and the length of skirts at court. Um, and then as I started to write her, I just wrote one particular scene, and I, I can't tell you too much about it, but when you get there, you will recognize it. When my lead character, Minu, reached out and touched her, and her reaction surprised me. Madame Bousset's reaction surprised me. And at that moment, I suddenly thought, oh, you were duped too. You thought you were writing a certain sort of character, and she's a completely different sort of woman. And I love writing older women. I love writing the people with no voices, who are quiet, who don't seem to be the hero, they don't seem to be important. But actually, as we know, they're the bedrock of all proper historical fiction the quiet, untold stories that underpin every piece of history, because in the end it's all of us that make history. It isn't the kings and the queens and the generals and the priests and the bishops who make the decisions that influence all of our lives. And certainly in a story like this, a diaspora story, everything that happens happens because other people make decisions thousands of miles away and none of us have any choice in the matter. And I suppose that Madame Bousset, she sums up all of those overlooked and forgotten women who don't have a voice. Um, but in this novel, she gets her own back.